Can you create a thinking machine, a computer which emulates the human brain? Well, that's the goal of the scientists behind the Human Brain Project. But are they trying to achieve the impossible? Let's find out more. It's long been a dream of scientists to understand and then emulate the human brain inside a computer, and the 10-year EU-funded Human Brain Project gives them that chance. To start, they're taking a close-up look at the real thing. So if you want to go into cellular details and see the morphology of cells, their connections, that is axons, we have to slice brains. And this is what we are doing here. This lab at Ulick Forschungszentrum is one of the few places in the world equipped to slice up complete brains for science. The brain is cut into 7,000 slices and then scanned into a computer. To then reconstruct that brain inside a machine is a profoundly complex task. But during cutting, we have uh, cut off uh, the cells into two pieces sometimes, very often. And when we want to 3D reconstruct these sections, we have to find, so to say, the two matching elements of a cell that has been separated. Since there are so many cells, this is really a challenge. The researchers use a supercomputer to process the petabytes of data from the brain scanning. However, even this giant machine is limited when faced with replicating the complexity of the human mind. You really need the biggest computers which are available in the world just to simulate a tiny fraction of our brains. The slicing and scanning is a key step in trying to understand the human brain. But if you want to emulate it, why not flip the problem around and build a computer that copies the brain? Here at the University of Bern, the Human Brain Project team is working on a new kind of thinking machine, what's known as a neuromorphic computer. They have the lightning speed of silicon chips, yet the architecture of brains. Neuromorphic means like neurons. So you take the physics of neurons, copy it into the physics of silicon circuits, and this is what you get. You get an array of 200,000 neurons that behave like neurons in the brain, but that are 10,000 times faster. This kind of computing is still in its infancy, and the devices made in Heidelberg are no smarter than a fruit fly. Still, the physicists are optimistic their work can pave the way for a superhuman-level intelligence based on silicon. If one day, I should say when one day, we can scale these things to the size of the brain, and we understand the architecture of the brain, then we will have cognitive agents that operate thousands of times faster than the flesh and blood cognitive agents that are sitting at this table. The neuroscientists sound a note of caution here, however, damping down expectations of what can be achieved and proved. And it is difficult to uh, think about an experiment that would tell us that this artificial network, for example, has developed consciousness. So there are deep philosophical and technical and uh, basic neuroscientific question that we have to solve. The researchers don't expect to have all the answers by the time the Human Brain Project comes to an end in 2023. What they will achieve is to make significant strides in understanding the greatest computer of them all inside our heads.